Either way, data rules our way of life in the modern age. And though sometimes the way we consume data can feel like magic, data requires a physical presence, just like anything else. Data requires data centers. And these data centers have an impact on our neighborhoods and on our environment. What is that impact? Let's talk about it today in the EcoZone. Data centers are springing up all over the world. In the United States alone, it is estimated that there are 3,000 data centers on the low end and upwards of 5,500 on the high end. According to the Department of Energy, data centers consumed 4.4% of all energy consumption in 2023. By 2028, they estimate that this will increase to 6.7% or even upwards of 12% of total energy consumption. This marks a decisive increase on the impact that data centers have on our environment. Data centers are what keep sites like this one running. They're what allow you to stream movies over Netflix, and they are what power AI like ChatGPT. In my home state of Utah, construction of the largest data center in the nation has been approved. 20 million square feet of Millard County, a small rural county, will be utilized by the data center. Supporters claim that this will bring a financial benefit of millions of dollars in tax revenue. What they fail to mention is the subsequent decrease in residential home values due to air, water, and noise pollution. And while the value of homes plummet near data centers, the cost of utilities increase. The people of Northern Virginia, the most concentrated area of data centers, have already faced this reality. The impact of these centers are not solely financial either. They're impacting our health. Commenting on the air pollution that is created by these data centers, UCR associate professor Sholay Ren has said, air pollution stemming from AI disproportionately affects certain low-income communities, partly because of their proximity to power plants or backup generators at the data processing centers. Additionally, the pollution drifts across county and state lines, creating health impacts on communities far and wide. The data centers pay local property taxes to the county where they operate, but this health impact is not just limited to a small community. Actually, it travels across the whole country, so those other places are not compensated at all. So what can we do? AI has a lot of potential as a budding technology. It can be used to help in our healthcare systems, it can assist us in scientific research, and it can be used to alleviate grueling and mundane tasks for workers. Unfortunately, as it stands now, AI's unfettered use and development is contributing to the ecological collapse and exacerbating current social and economic inequalities. It is up to us to ensure that the usage and development of AI is regulated and that it is used for the benefit of humanity rather than for quick profits. Stay informed on local developments of data centers in your area. Keep seeking news on AI-related topics, and most of all, make sure that your voice is heard. This has